Hi, I'm Kara Lee with Colibri Kids Yoga, and today is day 12 of Mindfulness Month. Thank you for joining us. And today I'm going to share with you some simple gratitude practices. And these are practices that help us experience the um, the feeling of appreciation and um, for whether it be the big or small things in our lives that we're thankful for. And our first practice is called the Pass the Gratitude Ball. It's a game and you can play this in a school setting or at home as well as at a party. Um, it's usually used, uh, traditionally used as an icebreaker. And all you need is a beach ball and uh, we've got one right here. And on the beach ball, you write down some questions that um, bring up feelings of gratitude. For example, um, what made you smile today is the one question. Um, share something that you like about yourself um, and who inspires you. And you also can create your own questions. Um, and what you do is you pass the ball to somebody who hasn't yet had a turn and they catch the ball and choose a question and, and answer it. It's a great way to get to know one another and it's also um, really fun to play. Another gratitude practice that I wanted to share with you today is uh, the practice of writing in a gratitude journal and um, that can actually be done in a lot of different ways. Um, a friend of mine recently gave me, gifted me with this beautiful journal and the way that I have been practicing this recently is each evening before going to bed, I write down three things that I am grateful for. And uh, you can do this at any time. You can also uh, draw pictures. Some of the young people in our lives might prefer, prefer to draw. And some families have gratitude jars and each person in the family can write down what they're grateful for on a piece of paper uh, or you can write several things and put them in the jar and then throughout the week or perhaps at dinner time you can take turns um, picking out the gratitudes and sharing them with the family it's a very sweet practice another gratitude practice is um, called the ABCs of gratitude and this is um, you can go around in a circle or within whoever you're with and with each letter of the alphabet you say um, something that you're grateful for um, following through the whole alphabet. So for example, A, um, I am grateful for apples. This is the season of apples and uh, they taste amazing right now. Um, and so, and then you would go on B, the next person would say that they are grateful for something that begins with the letter B, um, a bird, a hummingbird or uh, whatever it may be that they love um, or that they're grateful for. So you can do this um, in a group or you can do it on your own uh, and it's a lot of fun. Um, the final gratitude practice I want to share with you is the practice of sharing gratefuls. Uh, my family, when we are sitting down to the dinner table, we go around and share our gratefuls. So whatever it may be that we were gr grateful for in that moment. And uh, we take turns uh, sharing that with the family. And it's been a beautiful practice. We started, I think, at around Thanksgiving time. Um, and now we do it every time we have dinner which is a lot, of, a lot of fun and a sweet way to be with one another. So these are just some simple gratitude practices that um, you can share with one another or do on your own. And um, yes, I hope you have fun with them. And they're just, they, you know, being grateful just feels so good. And some of the benefits are really that uh, feeling positive emotions, um, and even a better immune system, uh, as well as better sleep. So all around, gratitude is such a good thing. So I am grateful for all of you for watching and uh, for being here with us uh, during Mindfulness Month. And I am Kara Lee with Colibri Kids Yoga. Thanks so much, take good care, bye.